Uh, good evening, everyone. I am Andrew Rayfeld, the President and CEO of the Jewish Federation. Uh, it is so delightful to see so many of you here. We, uh, we chose this location in large part because of things that we saw happening in our community. Uh, greater integration between the Jewish and the non-Jewish community, between the Jewish community and communities of all faiths. Uh, it's exciting to be here. Um, I remember a few months ago speaking at the annual meeting of the Jewish Light, and I said there that what the Jewish Light did was help us do something that had first been originated back in the 19th century. And that was a time when nationalism began to flourish in uh, Europe, and there was a real problem. How do you imagine people in individual communities living in uh, a land mass as diverse as, say, Germany, feeling together? feeling one nation, feeling as if they are bound together. And it was through the role of the newspaper, the role of the newspaper to help individuals imagine themselves, be part of an imagined community. It was a term coined by a scholar named Benedict Anderson a little over 30 years ago, and it's so applied to the kind of work that the Jewish light was involved in. And today, as I see all of you here in this space, and over 300 of you rsvp to come to the annual meeting, over 600 rsvp to come afterwards, uh, all that I could imagine was that idea, that idea that we would be drawn together individually and pulled together and see one another as a way to help our own imaginations of what it means to be part of this vibrant community. You know, I read very recently that uh, Harvard University raised $1.6 billion last year. That's quite an annual campaign. Uh, $1.6 billion. Now, if I told you that Harvard University was a fundraising organization, you'd think I was being ironic. You'd think I was being funny or sarcastic, because we all know that Harvard, the WashU, the SLU, the Webster University of the East, it's not a fundraising institution. It's an institution of higher learning, of research, of teaching, of knowledge. We know the Art Museum here in St. Louis is not a fundraising institution. It's an institution of art, of cultivation, of culture. The same with the symphony, the same of all of the institutions that we know and that we loved. And so when people tell me that what Federation is, is that we're a fundraising organization, I look at them a little skewed. Because if any of those other places tried to raise money by saying to people, you have an obligation to give, they would, they would laugh. They are giving because they are inspired by the work they do. And tonight, here and outside, that's the work that we do. That's the work that each of you has supported, has continued to support, and hopefully will continue to support. It's a life of vibrant Jewish community. And we are on the path of recognizing that Federation's role is now, as it has always been, a community development organization. It's dedicated to preserving and enhancing Jewish life in St. Louis and around the world. We are here to make sure our community's needs are met, whether that means partnering with Covenant Place to see that seniors can live Jewish lives in dignity, that students on our campuses can be proud of being Jewish with our partners Hillel at WashU and across the other campuses, or to support Israel in a way that strengthens the only democracy in the Middle East. We are in the business of building Jewish identity, securing Jewish communities, and caring for those in need based on Jewish values. Now, I'm not going to speak long this evening. We, the, the night tonight is devoted really to Patty, to Harvey, to a celebration of the last two years and to hear more about the future and to get outside. But this past year, we achieved two very significant achievements that I do want to recognize before turning the meeting over to them. Number one, we completed a community study, the first one in over two decades, in almost two decades. It's part of a uh, an effort to say we can't possibly know what to do in this community unless we know what the community is. And we learn lots of different things that you hear about tonight. Part of why we are here today is to say we are seeing a resurgence of young professional lives back in the city, back in this area, a little west of here in the central west end in Tower Grove and Clayton and U City. And it's a transformation and it means that we have to rethink a little bit about what we're doing. We have a Community Development Commission chaired by Les Sturman, who will become a vice chair this evening, a subcommittee chair of uh, planning and allocation this evening. But along with him and the members of that committee, uh, we are going to be looking at uh, presenting to the Board of Trustees and the Board of Directors this fall five to ten signature initiatives that take that data and make it real for our community that we can invest in and help move the needle on Jewish identity. 
The data continues to be offered to our agencies, to our synagogues. Susan Scribner, who has, been, uh, has done a remarkable job of directing it, and is Susan in the room tonight? She may be outside registering people. When you go out there, I hope that you'll thank her for her work. Can we just give her a round of applause for what she did with that? And it's a study that wouldn't have been possible without Harvey and Terry Hyken, con contributions from the Lubin Green Foundation, the St. Louis Community Foundation, as well as two anonymous donors. In addition to the community study that was first completed since 1995 this year, we also had a second historic achievement, and that was the integration with the Central Agency for Jewish Education and Engagement, CAGE. This was 40 years, a, a significant foundation of our community, making a real difference in Jewish identity building in the area of education and engagement. We need to thank Jonathan Greenberg and Marsha Moskowitz for their lay leadership from the CAGE side, along with Sonia Dubinsky, uh, an executive director who was willing to say to, along with her leadership, an entire agency to say, you know what? It's time for us to do something differently and to help leverage the resources that we have with our partner, the Federation, and grow together. I'd like to thank the three of them and the entire leadership of CAGE for their vision and their willingness to partner.